All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays, more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, I feel like I might be having some more technical difficulties, which is just great. Um, if you guys could go ahead and tell me in the comment section below, like, yes, you are, no, you're not, it's fine. Uh, I'd be really appreciative. On my end, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know. OBS says it's, it's, there's frames dropping, but then when I watch the video, it's not terrible. I don't know what the settings are. But, uh, if OBS is having problems and GetPage is having problems, just like, yeah, like, like, what program do I need to use? It says it was dropping frames that I should probably lower the settings, but, you know, my CPU usage is fine. It said my T CPU usage is high. Unless recording with OBS makes, makes it shoot to the roof, because not recording, my CPU is, is like 5%, so, I don't know. I don't know. So we're just going to try it out. Like I said, it's a week-by-week -week basis, so... Uh, I only record two videos in a sitting, which leaves you guys plenty of time to be able to comment and tell me and inform me. That's the way I, I knew that there is an issue with the Camtasia recording so quickly and why it's only two episodes and just, you know, it's not like an entire 10 to 20 yeah, session. So let's go ahead and hop into the next episode. So we're going to be playing Joey dueling against them herpes and uh, see how that goes down. Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win a tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister Serenity. <laughs> I, I don't think I can do the Brooklyn access. <laughs> I better be the champion for Serenity's sake. She's always counted on me, even when we were kids. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm going to win this tournament and the prize money. I'm going to make sure... <laughs> I'm going to make sure... I'm gonna make sure you don't lose your eyesight by pay Oh, she's talking. Okay, I'm like, I was confused about what the hell he's talking about. By paying for your surgery, I promise. Alright. This meditative movement was suddenly broken when Joey and his friends heard someone laughing and taunting another duelist a short distance away. <laughs> a voice that I really can only belong to. My! Was she introduced yet? Wasn't this my first introduction? Like, okay. <laughs> The team met my Valentine on the boat. Oh, okay, I guess, I guess I'm on the boat. I do not remember that. I do not remember that. The only thing I remember is just we will throw the cards off, but it's been a while since I've seen the show. Like, a while, at least a decade, so. She was a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist had, who had the uncanny ability to know what cards she would draw next. So, will I be able to, like, smell her cards? Like, is this just, it's like, smell vision or something like that? Like, okay. Hey, hey, Yugi, are your duels going well? I might be up for a duel myself, so get ready because I choose to challenge you, Joey. Hello? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> you challenge me? <laughs> do you have the guts to accept? I accept. Let's duel. Great. Get ready to lose. I like how just quickly you get into the duel. Talking last episode, it was so story driven. This is just like, damn, you know? Here's my dueler. I got it. All right. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, so she's going first, I'm going to say. So I'm just kind of wondering, does she have the new Harpy Ladies? Is she going to see summon and all that? No, alright. <laughs> I was going to do all that. Alright. <laughs> alright, I got Battle Locks. I need that Enraged Battle Locks. Oh, but she does have a... Channeler. Oh my god, and she already bust out a freaking 1900 beater. Like, this is Caveman, straight up Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Like, she already has something way stronger than I can even bust out. Like, this is the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. And the reason why, if you can play K-Man Yu-Gi-Oh! You got some equips, let's go. Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do, you know? Everything that I can play will get wrecked. Like, even my monsters that require a tribute is still weaker than her freaking equip. Like, damn, my Like, damn. Like, I, I'm probably gonna lose this duel. And that sucks, because it's K-Man Yu-Gi-Oh! Like... I need to set and hope that I draw to like a dark hole or something. <laughs> dark hole, maybe Rugeki or something. But the fact that she just bust out a 1900 monster that quick is just shit. <laughs> Can I get some eclipse? All right. Oh, please attack of all Earth monsters by. Are you Earth? I believe that's a symbol for Earth. I can't tell. It's so tiny, but I think it is. I hope it is. I hope it is. If it is, then I might be okay. I play this and all the earth monsters gain, so then I'll summon battle locks. And talk about what? The card is <laughs> the card sucks. <laughs> the card is dumb. I don't care. <laughs> uh if you guys have not seen Yugi No, you guys need to see that shit. That shit's hilarious. I love that shit. <laughs> like I need enraged battle locks. <laughs> uh Battle Locks is uh, enraged battle locks is probably turning into like some of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards just because of that. Shit's hilarious. D spell, alright, awesome. So there goes that. 
But at least, you know, I still have the 1700 beater, which isn't terrible still. So, I thought shit was gonna hit the, the, the fan, but no, I, that was nice. So, I'm not gonna trigger someone right now, I'm really, I'm just gonna summon Tigrax and go on the offensive. Like, you can keep setting and not let me hit you directly, but then you're burning resources. So, either way, I mean, it's win-win for me. It is win-win for me, my girl. Oh, well, that works. No, because now you're stronger than me. <laughs> that works. You can just pitch and then summon that. At least at least it's not exceed deck. At least I don't have to worry about you summoning a four and go into like a rank four or something. Although you could use your effects, maybe someone like Cyber Harpy Lady. That would be bad. That would be real bad. Or you have Mountain. Yeah. And that. Okay. Well, at least you weren't able to get over my battle loss. That's, that's, that's. Baby Dragon. Yay. What's her booty? 15. Alright, well. I don't think I got anything for that. I have a feeling that if I kill this, she'll probably keep this on the defensive, so... Right now, I'm gonna set the, the Baby Dragon attack over this thing. But still, my battle op. And she'll think, she'll probably keep this in defense, which means that I'll have be able to tribute this next turn, hopefully. And she's, she's pretty much out of resources. She could always just... You know, top deck into another monster. If you can get over my battle axe, I'm in trouble. Nope, she went on the offensive. Alright. That's fine, so then I'll just kill your channel next turn. Either or. <laughs> and it's all the same to me. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I got Axe Raider. Got battle axe, Axe Raider, Axe, axe this, Axe that. Like... It's just Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! It really is. It's like... There's not much skill involved, it's just whoever has a stronger monster just kind of wins, so... So now what? My, you, uh, you either top deck a Dark Cole or a Geki, you, you kind of fucked. I don't know if you somehow bust out a monster that's stronger, then nope, it doesn't look like it, so... <laughs> I could've sort of like some of these monsters fused together, like, doesn't, like... Yeah, Flame Manipulator, which I believe is you, right? And... Masaki, so all I need is Polly, I could bust this out. And Tom Woods and Baby Dragon for that, so. It's you two, right? Yeah, single level items. Yeah, yeah, these two. These two could fuse together if I had Polly. This is the time I'd play Polly if I had it. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'll just hold on to song. Cause I would I, I could summon another one of these and keep going, but I really want to see if I can get Polly. If I can get Polly and I can fuse, that'd be awesome. So just go ahead and attack. Oh, answer. I like that she has new cards, but she doesn't have anything to do with the new cards. It's just, they're there, because why not? <laughs> like, okay, sure. <laughs> Give her cards that she didn't have in the show, but then she's not allowed to do anything with them. Oh, if I have another one of you, I'll just summon you and get more damage in. I don't, I don't believe this is game. No, this is only, what, 44? 45? This is 34, yeah. Yeah, it's only Nope, that's not game. Let's see these two in the cowboy. Oh, you're out resource, you're out pace. I think that's it, right? Never mind. Never mind. She went ahead and summoned Birdface with that additional attack. Polly. Time wizard. <laughs> I could, I could, I could just summon time with it and then go no balls and then try to wreck her with it but I have a feeling that I'm just gonna get wrecked like but that would be so entertaining if I actually won with time wizard like if I just summon time wizard use its effect and actually won but if I don't I'm fucked for now like I I'm fucked you know what just because it'll be entertaining let's go ahead and do it let's go ahead and do it let's do it time wizard because I fucking can sure yeah! Woo! Time wizard! This game! <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> I don't like luck. I have terrible luck. So I, I don't like that. I don't like that, but still. Oh, I mean, really, all I have to do is just tribute one of them for one of these higher monsters that will be 18 and then crash and attack, but... Time wizard, yeah, let's go! <laughs> uh, how? How can I ever lose to such an amateur? Because I'm freaking... I'm Joey motherfucking Wheeler, boy. I got that good luck. I got that good, good time wizard. <laughs> My, I tried to tell you, there's more to do my than just kicking the other guy's butt. <laughs> yeah, attacking your opponent with time wizard. 
if you're gonna be a real champion, you gotta learn to care about someone other than yourself. <laughs> uh, I sucked the crap out of her. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, uh, enter. Oh, so next time is against Mako Tsunami. Uh... Oh, uh, you know, we can we can double up. We can double up. We're only 10 minutes. We're only 10 minutes. Let's double up. Let's double up. Let's go against the tsunami. <laughs> the truth and the power of the learning puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a m <laughs> major issue to ponder, there was a smaller, but no less important matter to deal with first. <laughs> All the dueling made me hungry. <laughs> Didn't you guys remember to bring any food with you? <laughs> Sorry, Joey. <laughs> what were you thinking you can come out here without food? Seriously. <laughs> we were gonna get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat. <laughs> That's a good question, Joey. This dueling really takes that out of you. Playing a children's card game. God, whoo! Taking cards, drawing them, putting them down on the dual this or on whatever the stadium. Whoo, wow, no. <laughs> I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. <laughs> I smell something cooking that away. <laughs> They followed the sand to the beach, where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. <laughs> oh man, I just love barbecued fish. It smells good. <laughs> I bet it tastes even better. <laughs> what, you makes you, what makes you think those fish are yours to eat? Seriously. Hey, trust me. We eat first and ask questions later. Your stomach, <laughs> your stomachs will thank me. <laughs> Joey ran down to the campfire. <laughs> Joey will say anything to fill his belly. Some people have absolutely no self-control. <laughs> Joey, save some for me! Like, Alright, Mr. Hypocrite. Alright, I love how how quickly it was my, but this is like, I need the entire fucking backstory. Like, before I even meet Mako, like, uh, I don't remember the show like this. <laughs> Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Taya joined them. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Oh man, this looks awesome! <laughs> this is a team beginning to bind to the fish. A young man emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, for this is your last meal. Seriously. <laughs> Just go ahead and stab him. Just stab Joey. Just kill him dead. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom feeding thieves. <laughs> hey, chill out, man. It's just a few fish. <laughs> a few fish that don't belong to you. And to steal from a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you Mako Tsunami, the top rank ocean doors? <laughs> and who might you be? <laughs> I'm Yugi Moto. Sorry about your fish. You're Yugi Moto. Duelist who eat <laughs> the only duelist ever to defeat Seto Kaiba? What a fine surprise. I must apologize. I've been ungracious. If you're a friend of Yugi, then please come sit down and eat your fill. Nah, just go ahead and stab Joey. Just stab him. <laughs> the team sat down on the fire, shared a meal with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out when Mako threw his spear at the ground in front of him. I think I remember that. <laughs> I also remember Mako being a little bit buffer. Like his arms are looking a little skinny, more skinny than I remember. I remember him bulk being a little bit bulkier. I don't know. <laughs> I treat dinner. Perhaps you honor me with a duel. He's nuts. <laughs> no, but I'm an expert fisherman, and you have taken my bait. <laughs> what bait? Master bait. <laughs> Why the fish? Of course, I laid it out to let you three right in, but I never expected to catch Yugi Moto. <laughs> I wrote another duelist a short time ago, but he's not a worthy opponent. But a duel against Yugi would be a true test. <laughs> Mako Tsunami, I accept your challenge. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, is it still just Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh? Some of the strongest monsters attack over? Like, there wasn't a lot of skill and resources when it came, when it came to Yu-Gi-Oh back then. <laughs> this is a different kind of game. <laughs> I mean, Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! can just quit with the uh, horn and go to town on you. You know, get the ball rolling already. I think I might go I'd do that. Yeah, additional 700. Yeah, that would, that would be hella strong. Get the Guardian with the horn is, what, 2100? It's probably stronger than anything you can just normal summon, so... Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! Like... <laughs> I like this. I like just sitting down, playing when they give me a hunter. Oh wow! And you, you said a pretty decent 2,000 booty too. No complaints there. So, oh wait, Mako, you down? You down? <laughs> yeah, no, no, now Mako's like, no, I got nothing. <laughs> I don't even want to play any monsters. So I was like, okay, well, you just take the damage then. <laughs> Some freaking Asianized white dragon right here. Like. At least have a respectable monster represent me as evil last game, but freaking Beer Warrior? Like, okay. 
Sure, I hate the knife. Such a troll. <laughs> Alright, you got anything, Mako? Damn, Mako! Like, what is in your hand, boy? Like, what is in your hand? I got Karibo. <laughs> like, uh, fucking, fuck it, let's go! Gen 2 Tree Stone! <laughs> this is Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! I thought this episode was gonna take longer. I thought I was like, I was gonna be like a two-parter. But nah, if Mako doesn't do shit, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you. Like, Mako, this duel's not even entertaining at all. Like, what is, what is this crap, dude? Wow, wow, I'm a hundred short. A hundred fucking short. Mako, if you don't hit me with like a Dark Pole or a Geki, like, this is the time where I wish I had Cowboy. Yeah, these two. Cowboy and game. <laughs> Come on, Mako. Wow, Mako, please, please tell me. Actually, you know what? That's probably still game. I'm gonna tribute these two for freaking Caltech Guardian. Fuck it. So, even if you do have something that has at least 21 booty, it still doesn't mean shit, so... Wow, that was a quick duel, Mako. That was a quick duel. <laughs> he, he played no card, nothing, just the Kraken. Like, shit, game? <laughs> Bad, Mako. Wow, he got wrecked. <laughs> GG, Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> what a grand duel. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You didn't do shit. You played two monsters. <laughs> It got wrecked. I salute you, my friend. The victory is not easily won. Yugi. <laughs> Did we play the same game? <laughs> you're a good duelist yourself. No, you're not. <laughs> wow. That was bad. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. We're done. All right, people. I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So next week, we'll be back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, we'll be playing as Joey once again dueling against, uh, was it Rex Raptor? I think that's what his name is. He would fucking drop that Luggy and Doka, Doka on me, fucking Donna Rabbit, and I'll just be like, GG, alright, uh, but, uh, like I said, Legacy of the Duelist, uh, we're, we're going through, uh, I said that I'm going to, when, it's not gonna just be for Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, it's Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, if you check the channel, you see it's, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays, and then whatever the current series is, which of course Legacy of Duelist. Uh, but we're going to take a break from Legacy of Duelist, which we're going to have plenty. And we're going to stop at the end of uh, Duelist Kingdom. So, we have, like, what, until right here, I believe? Because I don't know who this is. But, off the silhouette. I don't remember who this is, but, yeah. About right here. And then we'll go play a different uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. Uh, people asked me if I was going to play... Uh, I forgot what the name of the cell phone game is. That game on the cell phone. Uh, I could probably go ahead and get an app and play that. I think next I'll probably do a little bit of Duelist of the Roses, but we could we could possibly go to that cell phone game and play a little bit of that. I forgot to, what the, I forgot what it was called. Like I feel bad. Uh, I never played it. I only have it downloaded. So, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. You get let's play, so be back. Be sure to come back next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.